welcome. A good buddy of mine I've known for many, many years, and now joining us is the CEO and founder. He's got a big title, but he's still my good buddy, Cliffy B. Cliff Wazenski. How you doing, Cliff? You. How are things? Good to see you. Absolutely. Things are great, so. That was a very smooth transition right there. Oh, it's a long day. You got red branded pillows here. I know, I don't even get a break. I just walk back not and forth. Exactly, not messing around. <laughs> right. Good to see you, man. So, uh, First of all, congratulations, Lawbreakers. Uh, release date is out there, right? August? Yeah, so August 8th. Yep. Uh, you know, we've had alphas, we've had betas. Uh, we're going to do a final closed beta, June 28th. Okay. And then June 30th, we're opening it up. We're calling it the Rise Up Open Beta. The Rise Up Open Beta. Yeah, all right. It's, it feels good, man. You know, we've been working on this as of the summer for three years, and I really feel like we're really starting to get a lot of traction. My Twitter feed is people talking about Lawbreakers instead of chainsawing people. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Yeah, I mean, this was, you know, a, a project that everyone obviously remembers you from. Your work at Epic and on Gears, and then you made the bold choice to kind of strike out on your own, start your own studio. Yeah, it's for me. North it's Carolina. one of those things. You know, we have a huge banner outside the convention center, which is the first time since Gears One. Awesome. But for me, it's like this is my studio, and we own the IP and everything. And for us to be able to like see this, to know that I could do it on my own without like to Epic and Tim and Mark, yeah, it means a ton to me. So hopefully, you know, twenty nine ninety nine price point. You know, going out, you know, a bit lower right there, right before all the games hit during, you know, November and December. Yeah. And, you know, give us a try, you know, see what you think of it. Wow. All right. So, uh, Lawbreakers, August, 29 bucks. Yep. Uh, what has the reaction been so far? Because you've been, you know, when you first started out with the studio, you were very bold in saying, we're going to work with the community. We don't need Game Informer. We don't need, you know, press. You're going like to remind a... me of that one? <laughs> but, I, but I'm just saying, it's one of those things that, you Well, know, I'm at the were... point now where, you know, there's so many different things fighting for everybody's entertainment dollar no, yeah. that I will take any friggin' thing I can. I mean, you know, E3 used to just be showing up and doing interviews and, hey, what's right. up, Jeff? Good, good seeing you. But now I had a three-day event where we had Twitch streamers and YouTubers come out. And yeah, you did that last week, right? Yeah, and, you yeah. know, showed them the game, you know, on, on PlayStation 4 and PC, yep. uh, get hands-on, and they, some of them actually sat me down and gave me some fe feedback. They're like, Cool. Oh, and your low health, you could actually, you know, change the colors. No, those guys bit. really play the games and really care about them. They do. Drifter yeah. sat me down, and he was, like, giving me, like, some pointers on, like, our acceleration curves to the PlayStation 4 that hopefully yeah. we can get a little bit more tuning in that to get it just perfect before we ship, you know, because the aim assist cool. feels really good on PlayStation 4, yeah. but it could always feel just a little bit better. That's cool. All right, so, you know, embracing the community, and you've done, you know, a number of kind of uh, tests on Steam already with yep. fans, and you've been at, you know, PAXs and other I events. I mean, you know, you're visible in the public eye, and you yeah. know, like, I used to be a drama nerd, you want to practice your lines before you go on stage. Yep. And you, how many games have you seen come out and face plant? You know, day one, not enough servers. You can't get online. And what yep. they're going to do, and this, even with matchmaking, that happened with me in, in Gears 2. You couldn't get a game. So with this game, we're being surgical about it. I have a, a team of network wizards, for lack of a better term, who've been just, you know, server test loading, uh, testing the loads on that, right? Yep. So figuring out, like, can't, if the game comes out and we do well and we have tens of thousands, maybe, or more concurrent, can we actually handle it and can people find games? And more importantly, with it being a skill-based game, we need to make sure the matchmaking's on point. Yep. All right, well, before we talk more about Lawbreakers, you brought something special for us. Yep. Uh, we've got a trailer that's going to reveal some, uh, some new information, exclusive first look. Exclusive, the, uh, Jeff. Cliff, you know how I roll, right? You don't walk on this set unless you got something exclusive. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Of course, we'll always take care of you. But uh, here's a first look at the just-announced Lawbreakers Harrier role. Do you want to do anything to set it up before we look at it? Yeah, this is our ninth class or role, and I would say it's our final one, but it's not because hopefully we're going to keep making them for you and giving them to you for free. All right, here we go. Harrier roll and Lawbreakers. Check it out. Hannah, artificial intelligence initialized. Role analysis. Harrier, sunshine. Tell me I can't. I'll show you I can. Orphaned in the streets of Birmingham. Sunshine found solace in pursuing a life fighting alongside Abaddon and the Archangels for the greater good. Strange, all of their personal details have been wiped from the grid. Contact Archangels for further information. Searching. Harrier. Baron. Fear the killer who chooses only to smile. Baron's family was considered collateral damage during the post-shattering Haitian Hydronium riots. He was subsequently arrested by task authorities and imprisoned for trying to intervene. Baron recently escaped confinement with a man known as Kronos and is fighting for the faction known as the Lifers. He is wanted dead or alive. Beginning Harrier combat evaluation. The Harrier is a long-range laser specialist and team support role capable of dealing heavy damage with their beams, supporting allies in the field by increasing team damage and providing health and fuel recharging capabilities. 
The Harrier's primary weapon is the Shock Croc laser rifle. It fires a constant stream of hydronium-fueled particle energy that deals persistent damage in a straight line. Its alt fire can mark enemy targets for a short duration that increase the amount of damage they receive from both the Harrier and allies. Ideal combat scenarios pair the use of the Shock Croc with skillful combat movement of the Harrier's Raycaster boots. Whatever direction the bottom of the Raycasters are pointing, high mobility ensues, resulting in the Harrier being incredibly adaptable to most all engagements. This movement is ideal for lending aid at a moment's notice. While the Harrier is known for their unique movement system and long-range damage, they also aid friendlies with deployable recharge stations, providing support in the form of health and fuel regeneration. Fascinating. Grid reports that the Harrier can manifest a beam convergence. By unifying the Hydronium energies coursing through the Shock Rock and Raycasters, the Harrier can unleash a searing beam-based attack that deals massive damage for a duration of time. Evaluation Summary The Harrier is a long-range support specialist with a variety of support abilities that augment the battlefield with regen and damage boosts, along with high-powered beam weaponry. The Harrier is a tactical necessity for successful combat operations. Analysis complete. Uploading data to the grid. Hannah out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, Harrier role. Uh, you know, each role obviously has unique gameplay. Yep. Tell us, Harrier, what we saw there. What's what's unique about that? So, I have a saying, I have a lot of sayings, you know. Um, the best you ideas- You work hard on your sayings. I do. Cliffisms, Jeff, quotes. Cliff, cliff. The, the best ideas sometimes start as a joke. Yes. And the designers and programmers were just, you know, hanging out in the office one day and they're like, wouldn't it be cool if we had a character that had laser shoes? And I'm like, do that. And they started prototyping it and what we found is the character that can shoot laser beams from their feet mm -hmm. that actually propel you through the air. We want, if you hit tap shift with the right timing, you gain momentum and it's kind of an air version of tribe skiing where you can kind of move th through the map kind of seamlessly and flawlessly. And if you happen to be above anybody, you deal damage to them. Also, since this is a game where F is kick and it's melee, you come at them with both feet and you kind of just you know, spray the laser beams in their face. Then also the character has the main weapon, which is a shock croc. It's a beam, as we saw in the video. But more importantly, it's also slightly a support character. People are always asking about, can I heal people? Can I recharge their uh, um, ammo, or am not only ammo, but uh, fuel in the game? Yeah. So basically, you land, you refuel, get right back up in the air and stay vertical, and stay with that kind of gravity-defying combat. Most importantly also, the character can shoot a giant laser from their chest. It's kind of a modern uptake version of the Care Bear Stare. Gotta, gotta label it the pop culture references, Joe. All right, so Harrier new, and this will be available, is it gonna be available June 28th too, with the new? Uh, no, not necessarily, okay. it'll, be, it'll be available with launch. At launch, But there yeah. will be a new game type uplink available during the beta and the open beta. Okay, beta, open beta, June 28th, August 8th. So you're sort of, as you said, it's, you're shipping it then, but you know the industry's changed so much now, it's like you're gonna hopefully continue to, to iterate on this in many ways, right? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, I've already played Roll 10. I'm yeah. not gonna tell you what it is, but yeah. it's something that, Usually when you ship a game, you get bummed. It's like, there it is, it's over. And maybe you do some crappy DLC that you charge people for. Yeah. Well, first off, like I said, our maps and our modes and our characters will just show up, they'll be free. Cool. So we don't se you know, separate the, uh, the audience and the servers. But it's one of those things like, I, usually now I'm like, I'm, I miss character 10 when I play the main yeah. game. And then hopefully I miss character 11 and 12 and so yeah. on. And ho hopefully the game just keeps going for years. You know, it's that term that they use, games as service, but it's actually accurate. Now, uh, we got a PlayStation uh, 4 Pro that we're going to talk about here, but you guys announced that the game is coming to PS4, yep. PC, but no Xbox, right? Yeah, and those Xbox fanboys are pretty salty. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, they supported you for a long time. Well, the, I believe the line on my Twitter feed was, you're biting the hand that feeds of the people that, like, made you with Gears of War. Yeah, the so what, what do you say to that? Well, the thing I want to say to them is, I'm not ruling out Xbox. Yeah. I have a studio of 65 people and they can only do so much and work so hard, and we made a business decision looking at the install base of both yeah. consoles that PlayStation made more sense initially. Yeah. I'm not ruling out an Xbox version. Maybe there'll be a Scorpio right. version later with all sorts of bells and whistles and cool things, and maybe by that time, rolls 10 and 11 will be available, and yeah. it'll be even better than ever, and then you can play Lawbreakers on anything. Yeah. Maybe one day the Switch, who knows? Was Phil Spencer bummed out? Dude, whenever I see Phil, we hug. <laughs> you know, he and I go way back, so. No, and, and you said it's, it, you said it's a natural business decision, but you're right. Uh, you see people on Twitter, if they have that uh, 
purple M in there. Especially Twitter. the Xbox <laughs> fanboys. Very, yeah. very salty. No, they won't believe me. Yesterday, I was... Oh, sure, sprinkling it on there? Everywhere. Yesterday, I was getting a petition to be sued if I was wrong about the Xbox really? price. Really? Because, yeah, you know, I put out what wow. the price was going to be for Project Scorpio, and people couldn't believe it. But, yeah, look, I mean, it's... It's said, passion. It's, it's passion. I would rather I have them yelling at me and calling me names than ignoring it. You know, I'd rather have that over indifference any day of the week. All right, but it is cool it is coming to console. Yes. You know, you're doing a game on PS4. How does it look on PS4 Pro? It looks great. Yeah. So basically, uh, across the board, it's 60 frames a second, but it's higher resolution on PS Pro. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Controls are also very important to me. Uh, you know, I'm t uh, kind of tuning, you know, the dead zone, the, uh, you know, friction and adhesion and whatnot, really making sure the controls are on point for it. And also, more importantly, on console, having different controller setups. Yeah. Some people like to uh, jump around with left bumper. So we named that Bumper Jumper. We have, we have like six pre-configurations for different players of different types. Cool. Uh, what did you think yesterday of the, the Xbox One X reveal? Um, honestly, I was too busy like doing interviews and dealing with everything, so I, did, I haven't paid attention to any news at all. Right. All right. So I, so. I saw the name and I was like, wait, what? That's kind of weird. It's like so Xbox Project One Scorpio X. Sounded X, bad, X right? Scorpio sounded like a bad tattoo in a good way. <laughs> Right, but it's something you were talking about, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing is it's another one. In the, the marketing Xbox rights online. itself gets done. Right? <laughs> well, we'll see. And that's going to, you know, like you said, maybe down the road, but obviously big focus on PC yeah. um, for Lawbreakers on Steam, which is great. Yep. People, you know, that's where a lot of the audience is. So yeah, I mean, you, you go where the audience is and on a, on a high-end rig. And, you know, some of the, the console people were happy to have the game, but the PC players are like, oh, is this going to hurt the PC version? I'm like, no, we had to optimize the levels on PlayStation to make sure they're running at 60 frames per second, yeah. which means the PC version runs even better. So, you know. 144 frames a second is the new 60. Yeah, well, you guys have put so much effort into this, and I got to admire that you struck it on your own, started this independent studio, brought a whole team together, and proved that you can do a game yourself. Um, and I think a lot of people watching here Thanks, appreciate man. that independent spirit. So hopefully they're going to check out Lawbreakers and uh, check it out later this month, and obviously in August when it comes out. Should we? Uh, should we sign this thing? Because you're yeah, going to give this away. Get a good shot of the viewers, sexiness, right? Yep. Yeah. We're going to give this out. Go Custom to Lawbreakers PS4 Pro. Yep. Lawbreakers signed, Official on Instagram. Signed by Cliffy B. So, yeah, if you go to Lawbreakers Official on Instagram, uh, there'll be some information there on how you guys watching might be able to uh, obtain this uh, signed by Cliffy B. And, of course, play Lawbreakers when it comes out. Uh, My signature is absolutely August. atrocious. You have one shot at it. My friends there say it looks go. like a penis. I don't know what that means. <laughs> So, Some yeah, type, a beak or something. I got Faust dual wielding and blinking around the map omnidirectionally. All right. Turned out great. A nice white PS4 yeah, absolutely. Pro. Absolutely. First we have Cliffy B. Check Law it out. Lawbreakers official on Instagram. All right. Cliff, always great hanging out with you. Uh, always great seeing good you. Good luck. What are you guys going to do after this? If you decide you're going to keep kind of supporting this? Or? We are hopefully going to keep supporting this if the game does well. I would love to be, like I said, you know, like you look at Warframe keeps going or so many of the MOBAs keep going. Um, yeah. But also, uh, I have a couple other game ideas I want to do. You should, I think somewhere you said you're thinking about VR, seriously? Yeah, you know, I looked around and I had a VR pitch. I had a couple of them, but VR funding right now is still in its infancy. Yeah. So what I wanted to do would have been three to five million dollars for yeah. budget, but everyone's like, yeah, too rich for my blood. And I'm like, well, you wonder why most VR games are just tech demos. Yeah. You know, I saw that one uh, that's being done by Ready at Dawn that looks amazing. It's oh, like yeah, Lauren Echo? Game. Yeah. And look, it's like, finally, we're going to get some real VR games that aren't just tech yeah. demos. Oh, look, I can take a box and throw it across the room. You yeah. know, you're going to be in that VR space with people experiencing yeah. zero G. I guess I kind of like low grav. Yep. All right, so probably not VR, but thinking of other ideas. Yeah. I mean, Boss Key, obviously, you know, you got a lot of games left in you, so I'm sure you're thinking of... You grab me later on, I'll give project. you a peek at my phone with some stuff. All right. Exclusive. <laughs> That's right. You never know. Maybe we'll see you at the Game Awards. All right, well, Cliffy B, great to see you. Uh, good luck with E3 this Thanks, week. Man. We'll check out more Lawbreakers. Melanie Mack... Uh,